If you have a low end PC like straight up Intel integrated graphics systems and you want to game with the best FPS possible, this is the guide for you. I will show you how to get more FPS and fix settings on low end PC or laptops in the best possible way by completely optimizing your windows for the best performance and gaming. All of these methods are really simple and have been proven to provide up to 30% FPS improvement by optimizing the windows and games like Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, Minecraft, etc. for the optimal performance. Just keep in mind that the improvements depend on system to system, so take that percentage with a grain of salt. These will work for all low end, mid and high end PCs as well as Windows 10 and Windows 11, helping you optimize windows for the best performance possible. So let's dive into it. The very first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the low end PC optimal pack made by me. Now the website does contain a few ads because I have 16 kids and I need to feed them all. So be patient, close any ads that pop up and download it from there. And also don't worry, this is not virus or any kind of malware because Windows has the tendency to provide false positives. Basically that's the process by Windows that marks any files that mess up with the system configurations or system registry file as a virus, which is actually quite misleading. So this is 100% safe, you don't need to worry about anything. Once you have the file downloaded, simply go ahead right click and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or whatever you want. Go ahead and open it up and open up the folder. Inside of here you'll find a bunch of folders as well as some text files. So we're gonna be going ahead and starting off with the CPU optimizations. So go ahead and open up the CPU folder. Inside of here you will find two programs. The first one is the MSI utility which I'm sure that all of you are very familiar with but I do recommend running it once in a while just to make sure that all of your devices that support the MSI mode are running in the MSI mode. So right click on it, run it as administrator and once it opens up make sure that your GPU as well as your network card and any of the host controllers if they do support the MSI mode have the MSI box checked and the priority should be set to undefined. This is especially useful for your GPU so go ahead and click on your GPU make sure that under the supported modes it does say MSI then check this box set the priority to undefined hit apply close out of this and that's it. Now you can go ahead and right click on the unpack cpu.exe and run it as administrator. Once this program loads up it has a couple of options the first one is to go ahead and switch the system power plan. If you are not using one of my custom power plans or the power plan that I showed in the previous video such as Hone, you should be always going ahead and using the high performance one. But I do recommend using my custom power plan because that will give you a lot more FPS and overall improvement in latency. Then the main thing is to make sure that all of these cores are unpacked. So simply go ahead and set Set the core parking index to 100%, hit apply, hit ok and then you can close out of it. Go back into the pack once more and this time go inside of the win registry folder. Inside of here are a bunch of registry files that will optimize your windows to give you the most FPS and also the lowest input delay. Starting off with disable game DVR, simply go ahead double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and do the same thing for the disable game DVR too. This is going to make sure that the game bar is properly turned off. Then for the full screen fix, this is going to apply an exclusive full screen optimization that makes sure that your games run in exclusive full screen, enhancing their FPS and the overall latency. And and this is actually highly recommended by the games themselves as well. So double click on it, hit yes, hit ok. Before applying the game optimizations, you can always go ahead and right click on a registry file, click on edit to make sure that its contents are safe. Also shout out to Panjano for creating some of these registry files, they will be credited inside of the registry files. But inside of here, you can see that the GPU priority is set to 8, the priority overall is set to 6, scheduling category is high and SFIO priority is set to high. And this is all done inside of the game's key inside of the windows registry. So close out of his, double click, hit yes, hit ok. For the GPU optimizations, do the same thing hit yes hit ok for low to medium and optimization right click click on edit and the system responsiveness is only changed inside of here so simply double click hit yes and then hit ok for the power optimizations it's going to change some of the ac and dc indices inside of the power plan which if you go ahead and right click on it click on edit you can see inside of here so simply go ahead double click on it hit yes and hit ok now you should be really good one thing to keep in mind is that none of these registry files will cause any issues however if you're still cautious and want to avoid any potential issues you can always go ahead and create a system restore point before applying any of these registry files. Go back into the pack once more and go inside of the KBM folder. Now inside of here first we are going to be going ahead and applying the registries and then we are going to be going ahead and applying some of the other optimizations to make sure that our keyboard and mouse input latency is as minimum as possible. So go ahead and open up the reg folder and inside of here for the disable the searching this is going to basically disable the driver searching that comes along with windows updates. So double click hit yes hit ok. For the disable prefetch once again do the same thing. For the startup delay once again right click click on edit and you can see that the startup delay in milliseconds for your explorer is set to dword zero. For the hover time, once again it's the same thing. Now the keyboard queue size and the mouse queue size, these 
are one of the most important settings that you can do for your keyboard and mouse. But setting this number too low can cause some issues such as mouse glitches or keyboard keys not registering. So that's why I have standardized it to 1E which is basically 30 in the decimal value and this is what I do recommend for you as well. So don't mess with these values as simply use the ones that I have provided. For the menu show delay, this is normally set to 400 but we have set it to 0. For the mouse fix, once again double click, hit yes, hit ok. And for the mouse cue size, once again I have set it to 30 decimal which is 1E in hex. Now that you have successfully applied all of the registry files, go back into the pack and open up the kb.txt. Inside of here all the optimizations that we're gonna be going ahead and applying right now. The first one is to go down to your start menu and search for keyboard. Go ahead and click on the keyboard control panel and inside of here set the repeat rate to fast and the repeat delay to short. Hit ok and that's it. Now if you are using a branded keyboard it might have come with a software. For me I'm using a keyboard that was sent to me by Yunzi so shout out to Yunzi. So simply go ahead and open up the keyboard software and inside of here you want to set the hertz to highest. I don't have that option with my keyboard unfortunately so I can't change that but for you you will find it somewhere inside of the main menu or inside of one of these tabs. The next thing to do is disable RGB so go inside of the lighting go for the model and go ahead and set it to off. Now that you have done this you can close out of the software delete the software afterwards you can always go ahead and enable the RGB when you are not gaming to give your setup the aesthetic look but the reason we are turning off RGB is because it causes a lot of latency. So simply go ahead and close out of this and open up the mouse.txt. Once again for the first one we are going to be going ahead and opening up the start menu and search for mouse. Go ahead and click on the change mouse pointer options or display settings and under the pointer options simply go ahead and set the slider to the sixth dot. So that would be one two three four five and then six one and also make sure that the enhanced pointer precision is unchecked hit apply and then hit ok then for the highest hertz and disable rgb once again you will need to open up the mouse software now if your mouse does not come with the software you can simply go ahead and skip this but for me i'm using the red dragon m808 and it does come with a software so once this opens up inside of the lightning i'm gonna go ahead and simply turn it off and for the dpi make sure that you're using 1600 dpi because this is the one that i have noticed and also a lot of other people have noticed gives you the lowest mouse input delay and for the report rate simply go ahead and use the highest one that is available for you. For me, it's a thousand hertz, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Simply go ahead and click on OK. Also, if you do have the debounce time, go ahead and set it to lowest as well. For the pointer scheme, as you can see, I'm using a macOS pointer scheme, which I'm not gonna be changing right now, but you can simply go ahead and set it to none or use the system default one that you are using. But that's gonna be it for both the mouse as well as the keyboard optimizations. Go back into the pack and open up the telemetry folder. Inside of here, you get the O and O shut up 10. Simply go ahead, right click and run it as administrator. Now inside of here, you have a bunch of options and you also have the potential for them such as recommended, limited, no. So you can simply go ahead and follow along with the ones that you want to apply. But the quickest way to apply the best options is simply going to the actions and then clicking on apply only recommended settings and then simply go ahead and hit yes. The reason I'm not gonna be doing this inside of this video because it can cause some of issues with my recording but the process is really simple to follow and I'm sure that all of you guys will be able to do it. Even so if you have some questions or if you are struggling with this step you can simply go ahead and hit me up on discord the link will be in the description. But now assuming that you have applied all of the recommended settings inside of here, simply go ahead and close out of it and it will also give you a warning that some of the settings will change to the previous state following a windows update. So make sure that you keep that in mind and use this program once again if you intend to update your windows. Then click on yes and then go back into the pack. Now inside of here, go ahead and open up the dism.txt and these are the commands that we will be using in order to check your system health and also to restore it. In order to use these, you need to go down to your start menu and search for cmd. Go ahead and run it as administrator and once you have this simply go ahead and copy the first command paste it inside of the cmd and press enter so once the scan has been completed if it says that some errors have been found you can go ahead and copy this command and paste it afterwards inside of the cmd and then simply go ahead and press enter but if it says that the operation has been successfully completed and no component store corruption was detected then you can simply go ahead and skip this one then for the next one go ahead and copy the sfc space slash scan now and paste it inside of the cmd then hit enter and this is going to verify all of the system files as well as the windows files making sure none of them are damaged or corrupted and it's also going to go ahead and automatically repair any of the ones that it finds. This can take a lot of time depending on your system so I'm gonna be going ahead and skipping on to the next step. So going back into the pack once again go ahead and open up the HDD or SSD behavior changes.txt and inside of here you will find commands for HDD as well as SSD. If you're using an SSD for your windows you're gonna be using these two commands and if you're using hard drive for your windows you're gonna be using these two commands. For me my windows is installed on an SSD so I'm gonna use these two commands and in order to use them simply go ahead and select the first command and then open up the cmd as an administrator paste it inside of here 
and hit enter now that the last access has been disabled we're gonna be going ahead and copying the second command go ahead and copy paste it inside of there hit enter and the registry state should now be set to one and we're gonna be going ahead and moving on to the final step inside of the optimization pack for this one simply go ahead and open up the services to disable and this lists some of the services that you should be disabling right now and in order to do it go ahead and open up your start menu and search for services.msc or the services and it should open up this app simply click on it and now the services should be open for the first one it is the windows search and this does say it will disable the windows search too so keep it if you want to use it but for most people i'll recommend disabling the windows search simply go ahead and click anywhere inside of here and type in the key w to go into the windows section and keep typing w or simply go ahead and scroll down until you find the windows search once here what you need to do is right click on it and then click on properties then if it's already running you will need to click on stop and then under the starter type you will need to set it to disabled and then hit ok the second one is the all xbox services so simply go ahead once again type in x and it will take you to the xbox services section simply go ahead and right click on the first one go to properties stop it if it's already running and set the starter type to disable and then click on ok do the same thing for the xbox live auth game save as well as xbox live networking service next all all of the hyper v services just keep in mind that if you run virtual machines then you may end up with some errors other than that it's completely safe to disable all of the hyper v services once again type in the key h and it should bring you to the hyper v section and inside of here simply go ahead and do the same thing right click go to properties set to disable and that's it do the same thing for all of these services that have the hyper v extension up next all the microsoft sms router service do the same thing for the sensor monitoring services as well as the sensor service and you should be golden now you can go ahead and close out of this close out of this as well and close out of the pack as well then moving on to some of the windows settings simply go ahead and open up your settings and inside of here simply go ahead and open up the privacy and then scroll down until you can find the background apps simply go ahead and shut them off once then go back into the home go inside of the gaming make sure that the game bar is turned off and the game mode is turned on also go inside of the graphics settings and you should have the option for hardware scheduling if your pc does support it simply go ahead and turn that on for the app preferences simply go ahead and set it to desktop app click on browse then browse the exe file of the games that you play and once you have the exe file selected click on add and it should be something like this then click on them click on option go ahead and set it to high performance hit save go back to home and inside of here go inside of the system and then simply go ahead inside of the notifications and actions make sure that all of the actions as well as notifications are turned off going back to display make sure that the scale and layout is set to 100% because for some reason if you change it to anything other than 100% windows causes a lot of input latency going back to home once again and inside of here go inside of the search make sure that this is set to off and all of the search and history settings are turned off as well as clear any device search history but now that you're done here go ahead and check out this video if you want to unlock the full potential of your pc for gaming